Hi, I'm Ludwig Wilhelm Wahl and I will be demonstrating two systems that use user-inserted ad hoc objects to make 3D printing faster and more sustainable. For many prints, support is needed for overhanging and bridging structures. Simply printing without support leads to failed prints for a large class of models. Similarly, internal support or infill may be required for a structural integrity or to bridge internal surfaces, and printing without infill can also lead to failed prints. Since these support structures are in many cases waste, we would like to minimize them where possible. One way to do that is to replace them entirely, and this is what the two systems I'm demonstrating, Scrappy and Substupports, enable users to do. And this works with unmodified, off-the-shelf 3D printers. To promote the adoption of such an approach, we made sure that our system integrates directly into existing CAD workflows. The substaboard system, for example, runs automatically in the background of your slicer when you prepare a 3D model for printing. Given the library of objects that you have laying around, it determines the best combination of objects to replace a lot of the external support material required for the print, while also making sure to request your assistance as little as possible. Additionally, you can disallow user interactions entirely during certain timeframes, for example at night. While you are slicing, you can observe where support material has been replaced and adjust slicing parameters as usual. Our slicer includes additional parameters that allow you to customize how much you want to be involved in the process and to find your own ideal trade-off between printing time and material savings and the effort required to assist in the process. When slicing is done and you export the decode, it has already been adjusted to ensure the support material will be replaced. This includes instructions printed on the build plate to help you identify the right object to insert into the print. It also includes printed holders and the replacement object will snap in securely in place once you push it in. The printer will request your assistance with a message and a beep, similar to other household appliances when the print is ready. If no user happens to be available at that time, the print job can still just idle until someone is ready to assist. After you follow the instructions, in this case, placing a support replacement object, you can click the button to resume the print as normal, just like as if you had paused it manually. You may be wondering, where do these replacement objects come from? Common objects such as Lego or a calibration cube are already provided by default with the software. To add your own objects, for example books, cardboard boxes, pieces of wood and so on, we provide a set of generators that in many cases only require a few size measurements which can be performed by hand. If you have a coffee cup with you, for example, you can try out one of these generators here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.